All right, so we're gonna play a game today with a Civ that is not in the game. Sucretact, a modder, the same person who's done all of our UI mods that we're using, has remade and retooled Egypt a little bit in a very, very fun way that I'm hoping will be very exciting to play with. So here we have Cleopatra, and some of Cleopatra's kit looks exactly the same. So Mediterranean's bride, trade routes to other Civ give you four gold for Egypt. Other Civ's trade routes to Egypt give food and gold for them. Um, give two food for them and two gold for Egypt, sorry. So we get gold for their trade routes to us as well. Um, trading with allies earns twice as many bonus alliance points. So that's very similar or the exact same. I can't even remember, but that's very similar. The Marianu Chariot Archer, exact same, hasn't been changed. But the two big differences for Cleopatra with this mod that I think are really exciting are, for every other district of the same type built along the same river, so same type, same river, we're looking for long kind of extended rivers here, city centers receive plus one amenities. So by building multiple campuses or multiple commercial hubs or multiple districts of the same type on the same river, we can get a few extra amenities. So that's a cool little thing we're gonna be trying to do here. Very, very cool change. Tiles are immune to flood damage. Now this is amazing. Tiles are immune to flood damage and specialty districts next to a river provide a burst of the appropriate yield when the river floods. So when the river floods, if we have campuses on that river, they give us a burst of science. If we have theater squares on that river, they give us a burst of culture. It's such a cool way to make the floods interesting, right? You still don't get the flood damage, but when the floods happen, they give you those yields for the districts that are on the river that are also giving you the amenities. So because you're incentivized to build the same districts on the same river, Right, when that river floods, you're gonna get a huge boost of science or a huge boost of gold or a huge boost of culture or faith or whatever it is that you want to do. Now we do lose though, the production boost for being, for putting those things on the river. So the incentives have changed a little bit. So we don't have that boost anymore, but we have this really cool ability here that I'm excited to try out. The next thing that's super exciting about this Egypt uh, version of Egypt is the set mat a district unique to Egypt that is cheaper and available earlier than the district it replaces, the industrial zone. So we're getting a unique industrial zone replacement here. Very exciting. Plus one production from a tile containing a river edge, right? So we're gonna have to be a little careful how we place these, but plus one production from a tile containing a river edge, plus one production for every two adjacent farms. After unlocking Apprenticeship, plus one production for every two adjacent mines, and plus one uh, production for every adjacent quarry, right? So we want to be careful. Farms, mines, quarries around these industrial zones are going to be nice for us. Farms will be nice for us early on. So river edges and farms early on, moving into mines and, uh, and quarries a little bit later. I guess the quarries is there the whole time as well. And then only provides great engineer points with apprenticeship. Its adjacency bonus is doubled while the city is building a wonder, right? So it's not a load of extra production, but if the city is building a wonder, right? Then you're getting more production than not. But also if the river floods, right? If the river floods while your industrial zone is on it, then you're getting even more production. So it's just a very cool way to keep the flood river mechanics of Egypt, but spice them up in a way that's a little more exciting than just a flat bonus for putting them down. Now, how are we gonna set up this game to kind of maximize how fun this is? First off, we gotta pick the right skin. It's the uh, purple. Uh, let's go for the beige and purple. I've always liked that Cleo skin. We're gonna go ahead for deity. Uh, everything here can be the same. We definitely want disaster intensity four. I don't know if I want apocalypse mode. I kind of want to sit and enjoy this without the apocalypse aspect of it, but we definitely want as many floods as possible. I'm gonna go for a Pangea here. Let's go regular size and knock a few people off for a little bit of space. I think I want barbarian clans. I want heroes. I want monopolies. I want secret societies. Our typical kind of game mode fun time. Do we have enough sheep? <laughs> Is this New Zealand? Are we in New Zealand? See, this is way better. 
This is exactly what you want. Settle on a 2-2, two -two, have a couple 2-2s two to work. Nothing in the way of the floodplains, though, right? This is all one... These five tiles are all one river. The, the districts don't have to be on the floodplains. They just have to be on the river that floods, right? For every other district of the same type built along the same river, so not on the floodplain tiles. And then when the river floods, the districts up here still get the the boost of their yield i think this is fantastic i think it would have been nice to have some sheep though i think having some sheep would have been nice we are in baby let's do this racket is down might as well follow this river oh it's long and snaky so this is perfect remember with this version of egypt sucretax version if we build multiple of the same districts along this river then we'll get amenities in the city centers. So we want to like pick a district, whether it's theater squares or commercial hubs, and build a few of them on this river, and then pick a different district and build a few of them on this river. We also have our unique industrial zone at masonry here. So it comes nice and early. Maybe we put it down early to get some extra production when the river floods, right? We're on disaster intensity four. So that might be a good point. It doesn't give great engineer points early though, which I think is good. I think all in all though, you wanna go mining first. You wanna to get to masonry ASAP, I think. Grab a scout early on, just like we always do. Gotta see the world. I have no idea what kind of victory to go for. 40 gold just really sucks. Out of all of the, uh, out of all of the things, that's not the best one. Moizo rap battle, is that a thing we're cheering for? Is that a thing we're trying to go for? Moi, it just comes as Moizo. So does this river, one sec. So this is the river we're gonna start working with here. So this is the Damietta River. What is this river here? This is the Nile River here. What is this river here? This is the Nile River. So this river here is a long one. This river here starts here and goes up. We need to really keep track of the rivers because they're good for adjacency. Ooh, a little bit of coast here, okay. So this river, the Nile, is probably a little less useful than this one up here. Good to know though. Good to know. Early, so we want to maximize the river here. We know we're gonna use the Damietta River as kind of our base for the first set of districts going down for the amenities and for the flooding. I think instead of settling this second city, I'm gonna grab a monument right away. If the barbs don't bother us for too much longer, I think that's fine. Oya, oh, yeah, not the best, but not the worst either. We got the bronze working boost without having to kill three barbs, so that's pretty huge. I'm gonna go and just follow the rivers along. The more river knowledge we have, the better. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea how the river tile adjacency works. So there's the Nile River flooding. Ooh, barbs, okay. So we do want, so this river ends here. So the Nile River just starts here and ends here. So we can still make the Nile River work a little bit, but not, but not loads. I think this is our best river that ends up here at the lake. Yeah, I think this is our best river to work with early on. I met Zanzibar, Zanzibar is great, right? Getting these cinnamon and cloves luxuries, fantastic stuff. So Zanzibar, good early Sues. We're the first person to meet them, so that's great. Owls of Minerva early on. So we need, we have some decisions to make. I'm not going to go Owls right away. I'm still going to go Pingala here for the extra science and culture. Moizo rap battles getting Pingala. But Owls might be really good for us. Right? Trade route focused Egypt. Obviously very good because of her trade route abilities here. I do really like the vamp castles. I think I think Egypt here is, is still really good with, with Owls. So I think we'll try that. I'm a little worried about this scout. I'd rather figure out where this scout is though. Free recon unit, that's not too bad. Yeah, follow this river up to its kind of conclusion. I found the scout. Ladies and gentlemen, the scout has been found. All right, we can kill the scout on its way back though, so that's totally fine. I do want another settler here. I'm not gonna rush for it. I need to scout a little more to find the correct tile anyway, so we might as well grab a slinger here and try and grab the archery boost. Still gonna need God King for a Pantheon. Yeah, so he's cut off here. 
perfect foreign trade we definitely want a trade route although i'm not sure we're discovering a second continent we'll go halfway into that we're definitely not building a quarry there's still nowhere to build it right even if we wanted a quarry there is the marble here i just don't want to settle my second city down here we could build this quarry to boost it and i don't mind that i don't hate the 2-2 settle oh it's too close because now if you settle down here if you settle down here for the 2-2 now you're kind of just in the mud because then you can't build multiple districts on the same river of the same type although that's not really what we've done here either we have the stone down here too all right i'll leave it one more turn and then try and figure this out yeah so the thing with this industrial zone here is i'm not sure if it keeps the same adjacencies as the regular ones Plus one from every two adjacent, it does. Which means then you'd wanna, you'd wanna build an aqueduct to this tile maybe. You might wanna build an aqueduct or a dam here and an aqueduct here. Well, we'll just see how exactly it works. But yeah, I think a lot of dam caducts. I think, I think a lot of dam caducts are going in here. We're just gonna have to suss it out. This is an experiment where we're learning something new. I think it's all very exciting. So I'm not too concerned about the barbs over here. I'd rather get these barbs out of the way nice and quick, especially because we want to get an early trade route to Zanzibar with owls, I think. Now it's time for a settler. Until I know exactly how these industrial zones work, I don't know exactly where I want to settle. Because then I don't need to put the industrial zones right here either. That kind of changes how I think about it. But we'll still build the settler. So these barbs got cleared by Hunza. So now we have two gold city-states. First meet on both, getting that extra gold. Gonna have some early builders, which is nice. I think for foreign trade, we should try and discover the second continent for the boost. Now, can we improve three tiles? The answer right now is no. We are gonna settle that city. I can't clear the copper yet. Although, can I? I can clear the copper. Build a I'm still hung up on this building a quarry. Because we could come settle here and build on the marble. And we do need to work the marble. I think the Huey is a decent call. I mean, the Huey is never really amazing, but I don't think it's a bad idea. I think if, if, if it's going to be a good Huey game, there's a lot of lakes around. Now, I'd rather settle a 2-2, but... The way this river system works with this version of Cleopatra, I want to make sure I'm getting at least two cities on each river. How do I approach this? So we need multiple of the same districts on the same river to get the extra amenities. And I'm using our capital to build on this river here and not the Nile River. Although I could just easily change that. I could build our districts over on this river just as easily. It's just nice because these tiles are already not the best. Yeah, we also get the plus one adjacency for the quarry with this modded industrial zone, right? That's a good point too, is you get the plus one for the quarry. So you kind of have an automatic plus two. Let's kind of rework this and see if we can make this as good as possible early on. So you come down here and you want to use the Nile River for your district. So we have this river down here and this one up here. Right, it connects through the middle. So, how do you do that? I think you probably settle right here on the river. I don't think you want to settle the lakes. I'd like to settle the 2-2 ideally. I think that's too many tiles to buy, although we do have lots of gold. Because we want this quarry down for the IZ boost. I mean, settling here, you can pick the stone or the marble. If you settle here, though... If you settle here, you can still build a city up by this fresh water and still build some more districts on the Nile for the amenities. This is tough. I love this mod. It's so fun to try and figure this out. I mean, I'm obviously going to like the 2-2 settle the best. So let's, let's assume we want the 2-2 settle. Let's see what this looks like. Cool. So that's your 2-2 settle right here. From there, you have this quarry. Man, I feel like Peppermint Butler. 
Where's the quarry logo? I've never pinned a quarry in my whole life. Why damn for the industrial zone adjacency? Because this this version of Cleo has unique industrial zone, and so I'm just trying to make sure I'm, I'm maximizing it. Quarry, there we go. So you have that quarry. You get a plus one for this industrial zone for being next to a quarry. So that the industrial zone also gets plus one for being next to a river. So the industrial zone moves up here. You can aqueduct right in here. So plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. And then you have an industrial zone on the Nile. I don't mind that at all. And then over here, you want to put our industrial zone on the Nile as well. So in that case, in that case, you can use the dam on the Damietta River to still give adjacency for the Nile River because you can dam this tile here, right? Yeah, it goes through two, yeah. You can dam this tile on the Damietta River but build your industrial zone on the Nile. And then you get your aqueduct here. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then every time this floods, we get the extra production from both of these. Now, the thing that sucks is it doesn't really do much for them together. But you could also put a government plaza here. All right, let's work with this for now. That's a couple of good industrial zones in. This one does the set mat. If I look at what sucretax has been put in here. Oh, you're right. Oh, fuck. No. Hey, look, it's me being dumb again. Hey, look, it's me being dumb again. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, lame. Lamey, lamey, lame. Either way, they definitely get the plus one from the quarry. All right, let's just wait till we actually get it to see how it works. Either way, I'm happy with this. Howling Bay is nice. We'll definitely come and settle the city over here. Goody Hut's up this way. I kind of want to just start discovering where the other peeps are at. Where does that barb come from, though? Did they get cleared as well? Yeah, how long preserves with mausoleum? Although it's not doing a load for these tiles. Some of them are still pretty bad. It's a good thought though with the preserves. With Cleo making use of floodplains, it's kind of hard to get the uh, appeal up. So we'll try and make that work. I like the thought. Oh, the preserve works on the how long bay tiles? These don't have appeal though. How does the preserve work here on tiles that don't have any appeal? Surely if I put the preserve here, it doesn't give anything to these tiles. Grants up to three housing based on appeal. If you go to the grove, grants one food and one faith to adjacent unimproved charming tiles. But these tiles aren't charming. It works on them because they are natural wonder tiles. Okay. You have tried it. Yo! I believe you. So theoretically, you would just smash down... So it won't work on these coast tiles, though. I mean, that kind of sucks. You're right, because these are giving me an appeal number. They're just not highlighting. So you could put a preserve here, maybe. Or here to get the one tile. But if you put it here for three tiles, I'm not sure if that's worth it. We'll figure it out. It's not an urgent thing. I'm going to try and focus on the industrial zones first and get those working. All right, we have decided to settle this city, so we are going to boost this. So let's just come out into animal husbandry. Ooh, there are the barbs. We found them. We killed their scout, but we found them. All right, you're coming back. This Oh, leave us alone. Come on, man. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're clearing this out for trade routes. There we go. We can now trade with Zanzibar. We don't have trade routes yet, I don't believe. Nope. That's totally fine. We're just biding our time. We're going to buy a builder when we can in the second city to grab the marble. We need this gold to buy the tiles as well, so we can keep that. There's a lot of forest here. I typically find the hill 
upgrades to be a little more reliable for the whole game. I worry that this barb is just going to chase me. I'm going to try and bring the barb up this way. So when we move the settler down, he doesn't follow us. I mean, at this point, you got to grab Hamiko, right? Sue's Hunza and Zanzibar early on. There's no reason not to do that. Political philosophy boost. We did meet the second continent. Yeah. So there's our continent split. And we've met Hong Kong. And we're the first person to meet Hong Kong. Where is the uh, Where are the other people? All right. Jay on Twitch has also done it before. So it's these two Halong Bay tiles that are good and not the two water tiles next to it. All right. That makes a lot of sense. If we're the first to meet Hong Kong, where are the other people? Oh, someone's building the Stonehenge. Someone exists and they are building the Stonehenge. We're just taking this guy on a, on a mad chase just away from this tile right here. All right, Hamiko, you're going to go Suzanne's about right away for the amenities. What do I even want to build here until we get this quarry down? Another settler? We might as well start on another settler. Great bath hasn't gone yet. We might we might want to think about the great bath. Let's actually bring Hamiko here. Maybe we can get the archery boost yet. Hamiko has a long time to, to do her thing. Still need a pantheon, that's fine. Foreign trade has been boosted now. We have discovered a second cut. Although, shouldn't it already be? I thought we already went halfway into that. All right. I mean, we discovered the second continent. Have we not discovered it because we're not in it yet? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, so it did need the one extra turn. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so Hamiko's here. Going to give a little extra combat strength to the slinger. If there are no every nation Perfect. Oh, here we go. It's fighting time. It's fighting time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get this boost, ideally. We're gonna get the masonry boost. Might as well finish up pottery. Just get the, the OG three. Build any district. We can get that halfway. Early empire is gonna be pretty easy. Your cities get 20% production towards city projects. I'm gonna go for Zanzibar first with Himiko. Once we're kind of done here with the fighting. Void Singers is good. Promotion is fine. What did we actually get from the goodie head though? Uh, might as well get this trader going to Zanzibar. There's no barbs in the way here. Is that within... How many tiles away is that? 10, 11, 12... Yeah, we're good. We are in a range, ladies and gentlemen. River Goddess has to be the choice, right? Probably. We'll take a look at it. Sounds good to me. Done. And Nekin is down. And we have... God, we have a queue of city names. If I end up refunding your city names later, I really apologize. All right. Damn... Quaduct. There we go. Damn, Quaduct is in. This is going to be our archery boost, yeah? Perfect. You're going to go and heal. Miko, before getting the suzerain ships, is just going to get rid of these barbs. Two amenities and two housing to cities if they have the holy site adjacent to a river. We got faith. That makes sense. Do I want to build that many holy sites on the river, though? I mean, it's good. Is it the best? I mean, it might be the best because there's not a lot of other good ones. Not enough plantations for sure. We're just going to ruin Earth Goddess with all of the appeal. Not enough camps. I mean, I think River Goddess is the choice. I don't think we're going to get much out of it, though. Like, I'm not building holy sites early. And the, the other problem we have with this, too, is the holy sites will have garbage adjacency. Now, building a holy site for amenities and housing might be worth it, but for the faith, it's not worth it. And then what do we use that faith for? Great people, I guess? Maybe Grandmaster's Chapel? I'm trying to do the mathematical calculation in my head. Right now, I'm going to build zero holy sites on rivers. So I'm trying to do the calculation... Is it worth taking this and then using one of my district slots in every city for a holy site for the two amenities and two housing? So I fully understand why you're suggesting it. I'm trying to do the math in my head if this is good enough to convince me to do something I'm not already planning to do. 
right? Like culture, like what makes the pastures and camps and ones better is that I'm already planning on doing these, right? I'm not going out of my way. If I take this, I have to go out of my way to make it work, which is fine. I'm just trying to figure out in my head if that's worth doing. Certainly not these, certainly not this. I think it's the right call. I just don't think I'll make use of it early. I think it'll be a later game thing. I'll take it. We shall take it. Let's give her a go. I mean, I probably won't build them early, but we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, I'm probably not going religion this game. I don't know why, I just don't like going with religions. It's just too hard to keep up with and it's hard. It's like not a good streaming setup to go for religions because then you just spend half the stream micromanaging faith units and then you got to use all your faith for those units. And so unless you're like planning on going for a religious victory, it's not really worth, I don't know. I just don't like it from a streaming point of view. I think from a gameplay point of view, it adds obviously. You can kind of pick what you want, science or culture or make things cheaper, but I just end up always going for religious wins. Yeah, that's what I mean, Chiquin, is I just end up getting lazy and like, well, I could win a religious victory at turn 140. They're, they're easily the easiest, by far. Okay, we need to buy the tile and a builder, but we bought the trader, that was dumb. Although we still do need to chop this, so maybe that wasn't too dumb. Maybe by the time we'll grow into this. Where are you growing? I guess it won't tell me till next turn. Maybe we'll grow into this by the time we can buy the builder. Grab monument. Cool. <laughs> AI is brain dead. Yeah, I agree with that. Hamiko is very good. Oh man, why are these barbs so strong? Like, what are they eating? What are they consuming to 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 procreate this quickly? Silk is great. Love some silk. Oh, yo! Is Sarge still here? Sarge's favorite. Uh, I would send a delegation tomorrow, but I'm trying to save up for a builder. Early dom, late culture. Doing that dom to culture switch can be tricky some games. How did you heal? Oh no, you didn't heal, you moved. I getcha. I gotcha. Do I just go into archery quick? It's not very quick, is it? It's not very quick and I need the gold for the builders and whatnot. So she's like close, but not too close. I'm happy with that. We certainly want to take a look at this river here with the double silk and kind of rush over here, I think. Can we stop that? I'm just getting rude. Okay, Garrison with Himiko is going to ruin these guys. We have 34 turns left, so we just got to be careful making sure we can still get to the city-states in time. That is true, Ombars, that the switch is a lot easier with Monopolies. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah, that's right. Could also buy a unit here for gold. I think we need the, the builder. Are we spawning? We're 31 turns. It's going to be a minute. Okay. So we need the builder. And Hamiko is in the way of that. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll buy the tile when we can and boost the industrial zone. And then we'll bring this guy up here to chop. So we need bronze working for that. So going to bronze working next to chop this out. Cool, we have a plan. We have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna be sad when monopolies aren't auto wins. I don't know if I am. I like, I like that they, I, what I like most about monopolies is actually the ability for the early production and food in some of your bad cities, right? It kind of can make a, a bad city good early on if you can get a industry in it. And that's what I like most about them is it just gives you more early game options. What I liked least about it was that it actually helped. Certainly a first mate here, plus one culture. And we're getting the goody hut. Districts on coast or lake tiles provide two culture, not too bad. Not too shabby given our like layout here. We are gonna boost this, so we'll just go halfway through it. Don't need this yet either. No man ever wet. Turn 97 with just one, one Monopoly. Yeah, that's about right. That sounds right to me. 
All right. Uh, can we buy this yet? One more turn, yeah? Yeah, one more turn. We need this and a chop. I think we do this, chop horses. That's kind of our early play here. Oop, that was bad. Everyone get ready to say goodbye to our friend the scout. Everyone get ready. Oh, he lived! Oh, he lived. Okay, bye. Uh, yeah, you shall be promoting. All right, have we successfully... I actually wouldn't mind these guys becoming a city-state. I don't really want to actively promote it. All right, I think we're good here. Let's get Hamiko over to Zanzibar to suze that up. Can buy the quarry now. There we go. Now we have our... Oh, we still have one turn left. What a ripoff. Okay, we have one turn left. I guess at this point we might as well finish this settler. When now we get to find out how our how our new industrial zone works with the river. Plus one for just being adjacent to a river tile. So that's what we learned. So this modded industrial zone, plus one for being adjacent to a river. Can't build it here yet because we can't chop yet. Fair play. Cool, cool. We can, although we can build it here. We still need to chop though. But this might be the better one to put down early for the plus two, right? So if we chop horses, I mean, we can just buy another builder at that point. Let's go horses and then the chop. Governor, I do want Owls of Minerva. We don't need it until the next trade route is ready think the culture i think you just got to get to your government as early as possible we can swap out god king for faith now great bath hasn't gone yet which is weird yeah the two farms around it as well yeah we'll need to put farms around it too yeah, that's probably a good point to pin out. So if you just leave this here, plus one. Now, the thing is, you want to put districts around it, though. You want to put districts on the same river, right? Because these two industrial zones being on the same river, when the river floods, I think these get the, the boost. So you certainly want to get the farms down around it. This might be a good farm triangle here. But you also want to get your districts on the Nile River. Does this tile count as the Nile? This is the Damietta, but this is the Nile. This is the Nile, right? Correct. And you want them to kind of mirror each other. So certainly a commercial hub makes a lot of sense. We can build on the floodplains. We don't really need to worry about that. So if we put that plus two commercial hub here, hmm, you kind of want it close by though to get the adjacency for the two districts. Let's just say you put a commercial hub here. Now it's plus one for the river, plus two for the districts. Then you get plus three for the farms. Cool, I can get these farms earlier. Sweet. It's a start. No, no campuses kind of sucks though. Like no good campuses really sucks. So it's plus one for the quarry, plus two for the river. I suppose what we could do here is put a commercial hub on the river and then you can put the government plaza here. It's not a great government plaza, but where are we going to get a good one? I think you get a good government plaza up here, to be honest. If you put Izion Marsh next to Marble. Oh, you put the government plaza on top and then you get the farms around it. That's not a bad idea. Then you still want... So this is the Damietta River, right? 
Yeah, that kind of sucks though, because then this commercial hub doesn't get to be on the same river unless you put it here. Then you have one, two. You still get two farms here. And that's a farm triangle. You need another city here to work the rice. It's a good start for now. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just trying to think, does that maximize the government plaza? But maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe just the early government plaza for the industrial zones will make up for it. Because then you can start building... So you do your industrial zone and commercial hubs on this river, and then you build your campuses and theater squares on this river, maybe? To maximize when they both flood? We'll figure it out. I am not worried. Early Empire, please. We would like some more. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Early Empire into our government. Both boosted already. Sounds great. Oh, no! Hey, look. It's me I being totally dumb again. I totally forgot these guys were here. Oh, I got so in my head about the farms. Hey, look. It's me being dumb again. Help. All right, well, now. Now we're really saying... I just got to... Sorry, Mr. Scout, that was, um, that was bad. That was all my bad, and that was very bad. So now we don't even really need the chops. We just need to clear this marsh, which we can already do, right? No, you need irrigation. No, yeah, irrigation. So we still can't make an industrial zone. We can put the government plaza down, though, in the capital, get that done. I do want to grab these horses, though. Hamiko going to Suzanne's bar for us. That'll feel good. Any more goody huts around? We don't need to worry about Zanzibar taking up too much space, although we should be a little bit careful because we do want to settle the double silk. Right out. So if we're going to get a city on the double silk, we should probably go now. Do you just settle the... Oh, that's not a 2-2 two -two settle. I don't really want to settle the silk, but I don't want to settle within two tiles of a volcano either. We are in disaster intensity four. I think you just slide in next to Zanzibar. So, I mean, this river, this is like, the thing with this is we have this. We don't need to worry about anyone else settling here. I think if we want this double silk, which we certainly do, we got to act. Now, two tiles, within two tiles of the volcano is super dangerous. So I think that leaves this settle. I think that leaves this settle as the, the option. Now, I don't want to give Zanzibar too many envoys until we settle that city. I'm going to go Suze Hunza instead. If you give Zanzibar the envoys, they'll expand. And I want to settle the city first to see if I can snag some of those tiles. Yeah, so we are going to go here once we can clear the marsh. We can't get the government plaza down, though. So we will do that first. Envoys do make them expand. That is how city-states get their tiles. So if, you, if I were to use Hamiko here, they would keep expanding their borders and I want some of the tiles nearby. Because if we settle right here, I mean, potential for a lot of good yields from the volcano tiles, actually. One, two, you want to get this outer ring before you sue Zanzibar. But if Tamar puts envoys in there, they'll still grow out. Right, so we just got to be a little careful. Silk up here too. Triple incense, which is great. Stonehenge is down. I think the Great Bath is still available. Is it? It is. Maybe we grab that then? The problem is they're already immune to flood damage. So you kind of just take away the... What's great about it is you get the extra faith, but you kind of take away the some of the benefit because you want the food in production and we're already immune to flood damage. I don't know if that feels good because you lose definitely lose I'm some of... Past. What, what percentage of the benefit or how you quantify that's a little trickier. But you certainly lose part of the benefit. Oh, now this is a triple silk settle. Yeah, I definitely want this. Certainly. Let's grab the horses. The horses will be sellable and gives us a good tile. I do want this science, although I'm not too into it at the moment. So we're going to go into owls now. The early industrial zones don't give us great engineer points, so we don't have to worry about grants yet. Oh, Tamar's mad. That's not good. Um, this extra policy slot can go to wards. Building builders might be nice. 
Government plaza goes down. By then we can chop this industrial zone out, but not... Okay. So we're still a little bit away from the settlers. Now the question is, do we go audience chamber and kind of spam governors, or do you get the, the free builders with the settlers? I think the two extra gold feels good right now. Cost of purchasing a tile might feel good. Builder production, we're just not really building builders, so let's just grab the gold while we can. All right, you're gonna go heal. You're gonna die. Aha! Sweet, so we're gonna Suze Hunza first. So Zanzibar doesn't grow into our space, you know? Please don't kill me, Volcano. I'm a good guy. I'm a good lad. Now we're gonna come down here to chop this out in four turns and put down the industrial zone. Then our next trade route to Zanzibar will give us envoys because now we have owls. We've met Rapa Nui. That's another free culture in the capital. That's pretty huge. Now we can go for our extra science. We don't actually have the government plaza buildings yet. Classic. Maybe you just grab a builder here. Maybe you grab a slinger. I guess, I think with Hunza and Zanzibar though, it's a pretty good defensive. Can you get off our tile, man? I'm interested in the Great Bath. I don't know if I want it though. Cause we're already immune to flood damage. So you don't get quite the full benefit of it. But the faith is nice. But we're already gonna build holy sites later. That's kind of, we already decided that. I think you grab this builder. There's lots to build here. And we want these silk, right? I think you grab this builder. Although now I do regret at least a little bit not putting the builder card in. Ooh, triple silver up here. Interesting. Interesting. Triple silver. We do have that goody hut though. So that's a silver monopoly just kind of ready to go. We do need to start organizing our other settles here too. We do need a how long base settle with a preserve. So this preserve has three. If you put the preserve here, you can't get the Halong Bay era score unless you settle here. So that means the settle has to go here. Halong Bay era score, preserve goes here, which means you gotta plant woods here and woods here, right? Yeah, so once you get rid of these two, that makes this tile. You get rid of this, plant woods. Yeah, you need to plant a lot of woods around here to make it work, but cool. So that's just kind of a preserve how long base city. There's no rivers for, for districts there. So I don't need to worry too much about that. We're gonna settle this city here. This is on the Rosetta River. Now, the thing with the Rosetta River is that we're not gonna get double districts. So you kind of just put what's good here. I think we need to get a good campus down. And this is kind of gonna be our best campus option. So I think that's fine. We have a campus. I think this city here is where you get a holy site adjacent to a river. So I think you chuck that there and call that your first couple of districts. I don't like to plan too many ahead of time because things just change so often. But I think this is a fair start. We want those holy sites next to rivers for the housing and amenities. And I think with the mountain there, that's fine. I'd rather have the extra adjacency on the campus though. Although you could put the holy site down here. for the same thing, and then you build your set mat here. It's plus two, I guess. I think that's fine. Triple silk is helpful. You're also getting the salt. I didn't even know that was there. Sweet, so that city's got a plan. Then we want, we want a city here to also put districts on the Nile. So when the Nile floods, we're getting those district boosts. Instinctively want to settle on the two, two. If I settle on the 2-2, two, two, I don't have a lot to work, though. But it's also, like, a good distance away. It's kind of right in the middle of both of these cities. I don't want to settle within two tiles of the volcano, and I don't want to settle on this little inland. So I suppose we settle on the 2-2, two, two, to at least have that as the base. And then on this river, we already have two industrial zones and a commercial hub. Now, does the effect multiply? I don't think so, but I think if we put an industrial zone here, we get a third amenity. For every other district of the same type built along the same river, city centers receive plus one amenity, yep. 
So if I build an industrial zone along the river, the same river as these ones, I get an amenity here as well. Let's chuck it in somewhere. Cool. So that's fine. We're going to have a commercial hub on this river too. So instantly a commercial hub starts to feel good. Are these all floodplain styles? They are. I don't want to use too many of the floodplain styles. And then what do you slide in here? Is this your holy site? I suppose maybe. You definitely want to put something in here to give the industrial zone another plus one. 